was just going to say, if you are looking for the ducks, my parents have a duck that has nested in their plants. Ah, although I'm more interested in birds of prey than anything else. That's the one type of bird I'm always trying to find. Any kind of bird of prey. It could be falcon, it could be an eagle, could be a hawk, you know, any, anything like that. I'm not interested in vultures now. I'm interested in birds that hunt. Hunting for prey. That's, that's always what I'm interested in. One of these days I want to become a falconer and own a hawk of my own. That would be cool. Yeah. Well, good luck. I was just coming to tell you if you were interested in the ducks. There's a lot of them, yeah. I, somebody told me that that's why the hawks are around, because they're, they're hunting for the, the ducklings. Yeah. Um, my mom's neighbor feeds the ducks. Okay, so that's good. That's, that's attracting them around here. Yeah, that's yeah. attracting them, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so the more ducklings there are, the more hawks you're gonna see. <laughs> looks like there's some ducklings over there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well good luck finding your birds of prey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good when it comes to identifying them. I've watched like 20,000 videos of raptors on YouTube, so I'm quite like engaged in them a lot. And I, I, I film them at every chance I get. I don't really have much time to film them because I work at Amazon. I work 60 hours a week there. So I only have like one day off and that's it. Yeah, so sadly it's just been very hard for me. And like the past couple months it's been it's been tough because there's always overtime, like all the time. <laughs> I know, I know, right? That's a good thing for me. At least I get to make extra money, right? <laughs> That's always the most important thing. Okay, sure. I'll uh, keep an eye on that. Sure. Yeah. So they they it's they seem to the, the they seem to breed very late in the season. Like they they hatch the eggs very late, in comparison to other birds, I think, right? They pretty much hatch. Like a lot of like other birds, you know, they usually start like March, April, but it seems like the ducks, I guess, start even later than that. Like maybe like even two months later than that. They they kind of the ducks around here. Oh, I see. So some ducks just choose to breed earlier than others, I guess, right? Yep. They kind of... So there's like ducklings all summer long. Oh, I see. Okay. Great. I only know this because I've lived here for a long time. <laughs> right, of course. Yeah, you've seen them. Alright, well have a good night. Good luck with me. Um, I do have a YouTube channel. It's Yoda Blast 061. Try to remember that. It's Y O W D A B L A S T 061. A good way to remember that if if you go to my Jeremy the Player 88 YouTube page, that'll be a lot easier to remember. It's J E R E M Y. That's how you spell my first name. Jeremy the Player 88 is my my YouTube username. And then on my banner, you'll see a link and then you just type that in on the address bar and then you'll be able to see all my, my bird videos. There's actually an osprey nest that's in St. Mary's. It's St. Mary's Lake. And I've been filming them like, you know, every time I have an off day at work. And there used to be two nestlings, but now there's only one. So I'm guessing that one of them just wasn't able to survive. Um, if that happens. Yeah, and it usually always happens in the nest, and what will happen is usually the parents will bury the, the nestling, like, in the, in the sticks of the nest. That's usually what they'll do. So they, they respect their, their nestlings and everything, and, you know, they mourn them and everything. <laughs> but, yeah, then... Uh, yeah. But raptors are very, very intelligent. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, they have to be in order for the, to be able to swoop down to catch their prey with such accuracy. You know what I mean? But ospreys, uh, ospreys are, are interesting since they catch fish out of the water. And 
what they'll do is they'll usually just make a splash down the lake. They'll, they'll, even if they miss, they'll just come back up and then they'll just circle around and try again until they catch it. I actually managed to see an osprey miss out of, out of the water, but I wasn't able to catch the part where it had actual, oh, and it flew off. Oh wait, gotta film that thing, gotta film that thing. Um, so, uh, basically, uh, I, I, I left my tripod at home and I went to go and grab my, actually what had happened is I ran out of batteries in my camera. And by the time I came back, the osprey already had a fish in its talons. It was standing on a tree branch eating it. Yeah, so that's what happened. And then I was able to get right underneath the osprey to watch him eat. I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, he let me get directly underneath him. Although I've been filming this that that osprey for a while so he's gotten used to me well all right that's all the footage i got for that kite unfortunately